Welcome to the first episode of Freedom Advisor. Yes, Freedom Advisor, where we take a look at members of the freedom community and try to help them improve. My name is Cromar, and my co-host is MGN partner Robert the Bruce of Yesh Gaming. We've actually been at this for about half a year over on MGN, and if you haven't seen the show before, I'll put a link to the playlist in the video description below. We'll be releasing one episode a week here from now until the foreseeable future, hopefully. Of course, we depend on your submissions. So email us at submittedmgn.tm with a link to your video in your channel. And yes, you heard me right, RTB. That's mgn.tm. We'll be changing that to Freedom for <laughs> next week. He was going to call me out on it. He's like, you made an error in your first wait. script. And I said, no, I got it right. <laughs> what are we looking for? Well, pretty much anything that you need help with. And we'll send you personalized feedback via email and try to fit you on the show when we can. Well, this week's episode is all about establishing your channel's identity, so our submissions are all partners who are having some sort of trouble in that area. Let's kick it off with the Blake Man 9. He's playing the Alpha for Rainbow Six Siege. So here's a clip. All right, so now we have switched places here. What the fuck? We are now on the police side. Let me hold F to reinforce this. F for fuck. Oh, whoa, whoa, what the hell? That's fucking tight. Holy shit, look at this camel picture. The Blake Man, as far as video production goes, you've pretty much got it all covered. You're killing it with the audio and video quality, plus you've got high energy commentary. And if that's not enough, it's clear you spend a lot of time editing these videos as well. So kudos for that. There really isn't much wrong with your channel except for one thing that Chromar and I will both talk about, and that is you're uploading too many different games with no particular rhyme or reason as to what comes next. Even if you can throw up videos pretty frequently, I don't think you need to feature a game unless you can cover it at least once a week. Now if you can rock seven games at a time and cover a different one each day, then rock on. Otherwise, take a look at your upload frequency, and I think you'll find you should really be covering only three to four tops. You're doing some great stuff here, and I think you'll see even more loyal subscribers if you narrow your focus. Yeah, I agree. The quality and energy on these videos makes a great impression once people actually see them, and that's the foundation that you need to build on. You have that already. Problem is, you know, like RDB said, you just jump around all the time. It's just the point where your channel just lacks identity. Your potential subscribers need to know what you're about and what to expect. You have a big problem where you'll go a month or more between covering the same game, and you've done it with quite a few different games, and certainly some people will watch everything you do on personality alone, but that's going to be a small part of your audience. Most people show up for one game, and maybe they'll be interested in something else if it's similar, but for the most part, they aren't going to stick with you as you move from game to game. That's why you have a low ratio of subscribers to views. You draw in people for hot topics like Star Citizen, for example, and then you never cover it again. The good news is you don't have to choose only one game for your channel, though that's kind of also a good idea if you want to. Instead, you only need to pick ones that you know you can stick with for the foreseeable future and make sure to support those games with regular releases. You don't want any multi-week gaps, no unpredictability. If somebody watches your Hearthstone video, you need another one in a couple of days or else they're going to forget you exist. With a new Call of Duty coming out, that might be something to cover too. Build your channel identity around those select games you love and don't let your subscribers down because you have the rest covered. Next up is someone who has recently decided to revamp his channel around a new subject matter. He is DFS, or Dirty French Scum. That's what his channel says. I'm not the one saying that. He's playing Smite, so let's take a look. Okay, minions, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Tank it, tank it, tank it, tank it, because then the minions will be buffed, and that will just be a hell of a lot easier. I'm out. DFS, I really like the focus of your channel. You have it narrowed down, and going forward you'll be even more zeroed in on one game. I'll let Chromar cover that. Now I want to talk a bit about your audio, and I'll start by saying it's not terrible by any means. The way you speak naturally is not like some of the scream at the mic, crazy over the top YouTubers out there, and that's perfectly fine. You want to have your own identity, but you want to make sure you can also still be clearly heard. There were moments in this video where it was hard to understand you because you were talking pretty quietly. Now maybe you need to move closer to the mic, uh, adjust it in post audio, I don't know, something. But I don't think it's your mic because some of your other videos had you sounding just fine. Just make sure you speak clearly and loudly. You can always lower voice volume in editing later on if it's too much. 
Now your channel layout and focus is awesome, so just keep an eye on the audio visual quality and you'll continue to grow. DFS emailed us and mentioned that he's looking to rethink his channel approach and build a loyal subscriber base for Smite, which is exactly what we're talking about for this video. And DFS, you have a solid video here. And I mean, we talked about the, the audio thing. and I, I do want to waste a little bit more time on quality. The only problem is the black bars on the side of the screen. Make sure that you record and render at 720p or 1080p. And if your monitor doesn't support that, you may have to record in a window. I've had to do that in the past. Anyway, Smite is one of those games that you can build your entire channel around and be successful. It checks all the right boxes. It's fairly popular. It has players who are just really serious about it. Those players are always searching for videos and the nature of the game means that there's always new stuff to cover. You've got to make sure to hit this game from every angle, not just gameplays, but the sort of scripted post commentaries that you've done in the past. Make sure to cover new stuff on the public test server, cover your patch notes, cover rumors, play every new god when it comes out immediately, and eventually you're going to develop some legitimacy and then you can make guides too, like our next submission is going to. In the meantime, you can get a constant stream of videos with what I would suggest like a road to 30 video since your account's not level 30 yet. I would start each video with an update on what you've learned since the last video because you seem to be pretty good at that and how you plan on improving. Use the first couple minutes of the game to talk about that because it's kind of boring for like the first two minutes. But once you hit 30, continue the series by advancing through the ranks, your subscriber base is going to follow you there. Last this week is someone we saw on MGN Advisor a few months ago. He likes doing these scripted post commentaries, but he struggled to find a niche. He's TerraVision Gaming, and this amazing video is a Mortal Kombat combo guide. So here we go. Back forward one does this move. Honestly, this move is only good to end a combo. You shouldn't use it in any other case. Okay, so now that you've seen the basic version of that combo and I've explained it to you, let me show you guys how to turn that basic combo into an advanced combo. TerraVision Gaming, I freaking loved this video. Dude, everything fit together so well. The information was fantastic. Background music was different, but it worked really well. And it was easy for a complete beginner to the Mortal Kombat series and especially this game to follow along. Now, Chromar is going to talk about your channel focus a little bit, so I'm going to discuss two other things. And one of them is really minor. And the minor thing is that you had an annotation showing viewers what time in the video to jump to for the start of the tutorial. And that is awesome. Now, take it a step further, though, and make it a clickable annotation that sends the viewer to that time automatically. I know this seems minor, but little conveniences like that help new users fall in love with your channel. Now the main thing I want to point out to everyone is that I really like that you did this video in 720p 60 frames per second. It's easy to think you should push for 1080p at 30 FPS, but that's a mistake. 720p 60 FPS is much more enjoyable to watch, so for anyone out there whose equipment limits them to one or the other, always go for 720p 60 FPS. And then, when you can eventually get the equipment to handle it, you jump to 1080p at 60 FPS and you're good to go. Great video though, honestly, it was really enjoyable to watch. TerraVision specializes in post commentaries and he's made a few successful videos in the past, but those spikes haven't turned into reliably high view counts before. The numbers jump around based on the topic and TerraVision, I think that's because you haven't firmly established yourself and what you cover. When you get a news video out on time and you catch the search traffic, you're going to get new eyes on your channel, but when they go to check you out, they don't see a cohesive plan in place and they don't know what to expect next. News updates on YouTube are most valuable with your opinion because you're adding extra value and your analysis that comes from your experience with gaming and that's going to mean longer, more thought out videos like this one. If people see that you offer content like that, they're going to come back. Your most recent submission though, I mean, it's just, it's just so good. I mean, it's exactly what you want to do. You have made a fantastic guide. I mean, it's got everything. I can't praise this video enough, so I'm going to stop saying that. But maybe I, you found your calling here. It's just so much different than your other videos. And the quality isn't just because it's a guide. I mean, uh, there's thousands of guides out there with basically the same information maybe, but it's just in the presentation and, and you've got the timing and the subject choice right. You've nailed everything, man. It's awesome. Just do more of these and don't get discouraged if some of them don't quite hit the same search result lottery. It is a little bit random there, but uh, what you want is a consistent identity that people will know you for. And then every lucky break in the searches turns into a bunch of new subscribers at once. And you don't have to convert your channel to all Mortal Kombat all day, unless you want to. 
uh, but you should totally cover it, and you should take that same approach to information-oriented videos for the other games that you cover. That's going to be your identity. Well, that's all this week, and RTB, I don't know about you, but I thought it went pretty well, and in future yeah. episodes, we're going to revisit some of the most important questions, like let's play strategy and AV quality and so on, and we're also going to cover some topics that we never covered before, like vlogging channels and sports games, and there's still a lot more out there for us to do. Of course, uh, the problem is, with the network jump, we don't have a way to get submissions anymore, isn't that right, RTB? Well, you know, a lot of people are saying that it's so simple, even Chromar could do it. And I think <gasps> really? that's true. I think it's true. So you just send us an email to submit at mgn.tm. That'll be changing in the future. But for now, submit at mgn.tm. Include a link to your video and a little bit about your channel. It's that, it's that simple. Oh, well, that's good news. Yeah, that, that email box is going to uh, remain open indefinitely. So if you see this video in the future, do not be afraid to send it to submit at mgn.tm. We'll still read it. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see everybody next time on Freedom Advisor. Bye. I was I supposed to say bye? I totally wasn't ready. Forward one, two, two, four, down, back, three, up one, up four, down, back, one. Well, that's going to be all this week. And RTB, I don't know about you, but I thought that went pretty well. Oh, yeah. I was Good not answer. expecting you. You totally caught me off I guard know. with that. Well to, done. I was. I'm gonna, fuck you. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try that again. I'm not gonna do that again. Oh my gosh. Well, that... <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally thrown off that game now. All we need to know is a motorcycle. Goodbye. Okay. Anyway.